Hi everybody, it's Creative Katie Karen Virtual. Welcome to my channel, Mixed Media Creations. Follow me on all my social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, WordPress, and Pinterest. Just search for Creative Katie at each one and you will find me. If you want to support my channel, you can shop through my Amazon influencer links or make a direct donation through PayPal link. Both can be found in the description box below. Subscribe to my channel, hit the bell, and select the option to be notified as soon as I upload a new video. Today, we have a Build Your Stash video. What you're looking at here video. is a great way to build your stash. I hope you enjoy it. Six sentiment packs available for you to purchase. Hi everybody, Creative Katie Karen Birchill here, and welcome to my studio. Today in Build Your Stash video, I have something a little bit different. It's an announcement of sorts and kind of a infomercial. If you've watched my videos for any length of time, you'll know that I tend to use a lot of quotes, a lot of sentiments in my art. I always have that speaks to me. And my frustration has always been that you can't get you can't purchase enough stamps to get the variation um, that you may want for all your journal pages and you can't get the sizes that you want or so I started using my word program and developing my own sentiments then I can change the sizes change the fonts really personalize it and add to my art journal page or my mixed media canvases so over time people have questioned and asked about the the sentiments that i use where i get them from and i even have videos showing you what process i go through people also have asked if i would be selling these sentiments the sentiment packs and so i thought to myself you know what i'm going to ask people if this is something that they are interested in. So I did a poll in my Facebook group and thank you to the, all those who, who responded. I got a great response. So it, it appears that there was enough interest and several people had contacted me and emailed me and requested more information on that. So I've spent some time over the last week and a half, two weeks and organized my sentiments and came up with six different initial sentiment packs um, that I'm going to offer up for purchase. And depending on how it goes, there may be more. Now, these sentiments, you can print them off. What you're going to get is a PDF that will have various sentiments. And I'm going to show you the, um, I have the various packs here and I'm going to actually show you exactly what's in each pack so that you have a really good idea of what you're getting for your money. So what you'll get is a PDF and what that's going to allow you to do is to print them off as many times as you want on whatever papers that you want. They can be printed on just copy paper. Um, cardstock, colored cardstock, sepia, if that's your color, color family, manila tag, they can be printed out on deli paper. I've given you a video on how to print on deli paper and tracing paper. You can also print it out on uh, stick, white sticker paper from Avery or clear ones that if once you rub them in, you just see the lettering show up. You can use them as they are. You can fussy cut around them like that. You can mix and match the sentiments and make your own. So I'm going to turn, put the camera down and I'm going to show you each sentiment pack, describe it to you, as well as show you some of the projects that I've created with it. When you email me at creativekatie at gmail.com, I will send you the price list, again, with, with the description, as well as 
video links to some of the YouTube uh, videos that I've done where you can see the sentiments being used the way that I use them. Not that you are in any way, shape or form limited to how I've used them in that one video. So the first sentiment pack is the coffee or tea pack. And the video, the, this is one of the things that I created, these coffee chats, uh, these four by four fridge magnets that I've made. So that's one thing. We also have a canvas, but first coffee. An art journal page. Another canvas with the teacups. Five by seven. So you can see these sentiments can be used in a variety of ways on a variety of sizes. And we have, well, this one's not going to fit, but a beautiful mixed media canvas with the tea sentiments. So I'm just going to push this away and I'm going to show you the coffee and tea pack. So what this pack has is um, eight pages in total and you get the coffee chat sentiments, there's 20 of them, in two different fonts. I have a script font and I have this font as well. And that's going to give you some variation. These are also in a different size. So you can see that, you know, and you can cut them. You can cut them in the, re in the rectangles or you can fussy cut around them, however you decide to do it. Then you get the T words. And again, I've done it in two different size fonts just to give you some variation and some flexibility. As well as then there's three pages that have uh, sentiments, take life one cup at a time, but first coffee in two different sizes and embrace the possibilities that you can use on a larger place. So that is the coffee and tea pack. Now these packs are great if you want to make, do things for craft fairs, which is what I did. Um, the coffee tea ones, you know, can make great gifts, four by four magnets, you can have them on five by seven. What you're looking at here are some of the art that I created using my sassy sayings, but you're not limited to this size. This is the perfect gift size. So the mixed media, the sassy sayings, there are 25 different sayings and I've done this in three different fonts and sizes. So you can see we have this font and size and then we have a script font and it's a little bit bigger. So this is perfect for the art journal page because these sassy comments I think work wonderfully well on an art journal page as well as maybe an 8x10 or a 5x7 canvas something like that. They're a little bit bolder. The f script font that I use here, I love being able to fussy cut around them. This font al allows for that where you leave a little bit of the white but you get rid of most of it and then you can you can go from there. So we have that font. So there's however many pages that takes as well as a third font that I thought would look fun on for these projects. It would fit the, the feeling of these projects. And again, you know, this is perfect if you do the craft fair kind of thing. These are just ready to go. You have variations. You don't have to spend time looking on Pinterest or searching them out. So the third sentiment pack is the wine about it sentiment pack. All the rage. And I collected these to do my wine bottle tags, then that's what you see here. And again, if you are doing the craft shows, very, very popular, 
so you're going to get the sentiments there but you're not limited to that again you can this is a five by seven canvas canvas board you can turn it into a magnet which is what I did here but you, these are also perfect for an art journal page or a can or a canvas so this is just one of the possibilities so on this one I kind of Indecision has made this a very thick pack. This has 23 pages and I did the wine sayings in three different fonts and sizes. So you have the one that I used for these tags, which will work well for an AT or a, an iCAD size. Then we have this font, which is kind of a bit of a grunge look, but I really liked it. These are easy to cut around. You'll notice that I cut these into boxes and this, both of these fonts work really, really well for that. And then I've included my favorite script font again, because you can cut around them. And it's a little bit bigger, a little bit bolder, perfect to use on your art journal pages. So you have 48 wine themed sayings times three in three different fonts and sizes. So you have a lot of flexibility with wine about it sentiment pack. So one of the things that you told me in the poll is that you wanted larger sentiments you wanted something bigger and that is definitely something that I found in my artwork when I started making the sentiments on my own I went bigger and I liked my page especially you know if you're using if you're bigger than an iCAD sometimes you want your sentiment to have hold a little bit more weight so sentiment pack number one has 28 sentiments, but 20 of these are ones that I used in the creation of my art journaling by fives revamped and revisited. So I'm just going to flip through that so you can kind of see. So these are the exact ones, sizes that I use. This is, you know, for my journal. This is about six and a half by 10. So my other art journal here, this seven by tens, which I love as a size, would, these sentiments would work for this as well as a larger one. So we have Let Adventure Be, we have all of these. I'm not going to read them all, but just to give you an idea of the variation. And a lot of these sentiments are not specific to one particular focal point. A few of them are. But you can put together your own background, your own focal point, other things from your stash and use these sentiments. They're somewhat universal. A lot of this I use just using magazine as part of the journaling by five revamped and revisited process. So you can just kind of see the variation. It's a nice variety. As you can see, I have 20 pages here. Uh, only one of them has no sentiment because I love putting sentiments on there. So that'll give you an idea of how it works. And I'm just going to flip through these. And you can see these ones are not in boxes. You can use them as the sentiment on the pages. You can colorize the background depending on how you print it out. You can also uh, print it out on deli paper and rip it and use it as collage sheets in the background so that it's not really a front forward. It's not a, not a sentiment that's really forward, but it's in the background. 
You can do that with the wine sayings and have all the different wine sayings and then do, they're just kind of pushed into the background, peeking through. So this one again has, there's 28 fonts or 28 sentiments over nine pages. And as you can see, some of them are quite large. And sometimes, just to fill the page, I've given you two variations of the same thing or two sizes of the same font, just to fill the pages. So right here, you're looking at sentiment pack number two and sentiment pack number three. Sentiment two has, they're both large, mostly larger fonts. Sentiment two pack has 32 sentiments with mixed font and style. So you can see that I've done a lot more playing around with the fonts and altered them. We have lots of different fonts, kind of a mix and match. And this is 32 sentiments on eight pages for sentiment pack number two. I'm just going to quickly show you that so you get an idea of what you're getting. And you can always pick and choose words and cut them out and make your own sentiments from what's there. And all of the ones that are here have been used by me in my art somewhere over the last three, four years. And there are, to my knowledge, knock on wood, there are no repetitions between one pack to the next. Sentiment pack number three has 32 sentiments as well, over nine pages. And again, it, you'll, you, as you can see, it is mixed fonts, where I've played around and done a lot of formatting to get some mixed fonts, lots of different varieties, so your pages will look different. You're not using the same font for every page. Now some of these, while I've used the quotes, they may not be exactly in the size or the font that you see here. And again, I tried to pick sayings that are somewhat universal, not really specific to one theme. Although some of them definitely lead more into one theme. In the future, I may do some themed ones. That was another thing that people told me they were interested in. If there's a particular theme that you're super interested in, email, drop me a line and let me know and say, hey, I want, I want sentiments on stars or dreams or what have you. I have a list of a multitude of themes and otherwise I'll just go off that list. Now I recommend that you use a laser printer to print off these sentiments. And if you don't have a laser printer, think about going to an office supply store such as Staples, uh, whatever name office supply store is in your area and getting them to print it off on whatever papers you want them to print it off on because then it'll be permanent. Now, people have told me in conversations, I have not tried this myself, if you print it with an inkjet, depending on the inkjet, it may or may not smear to more or less degrees, but if you take, some people spray it with a fixative and that seems to work. Another thing that I've seen multiple people doing is putting gel medium on a gel plate and then just taking the sentiment page and putting it on the gel plate and just 
having it pick up the gel medium and the gel medium or I guess clear gesso would work the same way will seal it so that it doesn't run when you start gluing it so you're adding a step but you can still do it you're not limited to that if, if all you have is an inkjet printer you know you don't have to go out and buy a laser printer you can totally make it work there's always a workaround it's so I just wanted to show you some art journal pages again where I have used sentiments exactly like these. They may be different, you know, and I've colorized them and bordered them and cut them. And, you know, I like the look of them. Some of them, this one I have printed it on to deli paper and I colorized it a little bit. So you can see the variations that you get you know, both large and small. Did, doing some of my iCads, my inspirational cards. I've done art that I, you know, have matted and framed. And the sentiment is simply this kind of sentiment in there. We have this one. You know, where I've colorized it, I've bordered it with watercolor or ink tense blocks. Doing a little bit of fussy cutting around them. Getting rid of a lot of the white. Sometimes you do it in blocks, sometimes you do fussy cutting. Here I've done cut out a lot of the white on this page. And these are all videos that are in my video collection. You can go and watch them and get ideas. And the back here you have a collage sheet. This is all about circles and so I had all these circle quotes and then I put those on with deli paper in the background. And that's what you can do with these. You can print off some on deli paper, use it in, in the collage layer as a beginning layer, and then use it, put it on other paper in the front layer. A font, you know, I, where I've really fussy cut it around to get rid of a lot of that white. Now you can also just do a, a very, very light wash with acrylic paint or watercolor. You can change the color. You can add details. You can... Oops, let's get rid of some of this. And this is just to give you a variation. Some of these sentiments are not in the packs, but I'm just showing you. Here I've colorized them. I've done a wash of gold, and then I take the take my um, Posca pen or some marker, and I've made the lettering black. There, I've colorized this one as well, and this one. So I hope that gives you a lot of ideas. Again, if you're interested in these, please, please, please just drop me an email. I will send you a price list. Thank you so much.